Let's begin with that emotional scene outside a hospital on Staten Island. A firefighter badly hurt battling a house fire was released this morning. That's where you find CBS News' Natalie Dudridge. Natalie. Well, hi there, Chris and Mary. That's right. This 35 year old firefighter risked his own life to save others to rush into this burning home. And today we got to see him released here. He now gets to go home. And you will see from this video just how much his bravery is appreciated. Firefighter Dominic Ventalora was met with cheers as he was wheeled out of Staten Island University Hospital and then stood to thank and hug his doctors, nurses, and fellow firefighters for saving his life. Really happy to be here with everybody. I mean, the care was amazing here. This hospital is amazing. It's great to see all my brothers and my sisters, my extended family of the FDNY. They've it's been overwhelming the support from them. Ventalora has been with the FDNY eight years. He was fighting a house fire in the Bulls Head neighborhood Friday night where video shows smoke billowing in the sky. He was coming up the stairs in the lead position carrying the hose when he lost control of it, knocking off his face mask, causing him to inhale superheated gases. His neck and face were seriously burned. He was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and intubated. The speed is definitely the key. Recognizing the seriousness of the injury. When you have an inhalation injury, you're fighting for your life. You don't have oxygen. So getting him here was the key. Fire officials said his team did everything right getting Ventalora to safety. Firefighting is a very, extremely, extremely dangerous profession. Again, we are trained at a very, very high level. And during that fire, we were able to remove Dominic very quickly. A fire is organized chaos, and you can never predict the outcome 100%. From time to time, we have issues like this, and sometimes they end in tragedy. Thank God we're not uh, at the funeral home today. Fire marshals determined the fire was accidental, caused by a power strip. One resident in the home was also treated for a minor injury, but is okay. And that's what's most important to Ventalora, that everyone got out. We love what we do, and we do it well. They're very good at their job, and if they weren't, it could have been real different. And Ventalora's doctors say he's not fully out of the woods yet. He'll continue to receive respiratory care. And he told us after all today's excitement, the first thing he wants to do when he gets home is sleep. Obviously, well deserved, Chris and Mary. We are live here on Staten Island. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Certainly is. Natalie, thank you so much. Happy